Patrick. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay, thank you, Caroline. How's yourself? Oh, I'm just so excited. I'm happy we're finally there presenting Pluto uh, session. So how I'm do you feel about this session? I'm very excited. It's been a month since we recorded it. It was the first one we did and what a groundbreaking thing is now coming. Right. Everyone is going to enjoy it. It's There's some new information and uh, we'll have a little chat at the end and see how it goes. We'll, right. Obviously, as this is being broadcast, you and I are in the chat room with everybody. So. Right. Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. So we're going to be seeing your reaction live in the chat room. Hopefully, you can all join us. So without waiting any longer, let's play Pluto. Hi, Pluto. How are you doing? I'm OK, although all of the planets are concerned. We sense that, and we're going to be talking with every one of you, but we decided to start with you. Just straight up, if there's anything you want to say before I ask my question, say it. Those of us who are on the outskirts of the solar system can see what is ahead. There is a darkness approaching. We do not know what it is. There is also debris that we shall pass through. All of this is an unknown, especially to those inhabitants on us, the planet, and some beings. Finish. So, Pluto, are you a planet or are you a moon or something else? Like, our scientists are saying you're not a planet. Is that true? From our perspective, these are just papers. I am my frequency. I do not consider myself to be Pluto. This is a human construct. This is not able to convey what we truly are. We are frequency. Finish. Actually, I have a question on what you just said. So this darkness that you see, can you sense if it's Negative or positive? At the moment, it is simply an unknown. It appears to be approaching us when, in fact, we are approaching it. How far we go into it is an unknown. There are forces that may move us one way or the other. We do not know, and that is what is the concern. It is the unknown nature we believe as a collective that we will all be okay. We are concerned for the living creatures upon us. The sun told us that we are heading towards a wormhole. Is the blackness you see is the wormhole or is it something else? That is an area of space we must either pass through or close by to get to wormhole, the wormhole is not the wormhole. So, of course, is it is just the unknown, like the unknown when I want to change something in myself. It's the unknown, even if it's for the better, it's still the unknown, and it is a bit scary Correct. because it's unknown. Correct. But we shall not fear, right? Absolutely. Do not live in fear. So, I will not fear that darkness because we need to go through it in order to get to the wormhole, right? Right. Okay. Maybe I'll ask you this. You said that you look across the eon of space as a watchman last time we did talk. Can you explain what the eon could mean to us human? In your understanding, it is a concept of the passage of time. When we look out into the galaxy, we are in fact looking 
back in time. It is an ever-expanding universe. And we can see maybe the wrong word. We can feel different energies and frequencies. We sense changes and we can sense from many, many long distances. Distances that you cannot calculate. We are all part of the whole that you call the universe. Mm. Hmm. So this darkness that we are going to go through and the, the, the feel of debris, is it imminent? Is it going to happen anytime soon? Or is it in the eon? It is outside of the solar system. As I said before, it's not approaching us. We are approaching it. It is possible due to other forces within the galaxy that we avoid it completely. The debris thing that I'm talking about. But it is also possible that we go right through the worst of it. This is why it is a concern because this is unknown. We meaning us as a group of planets and our moons have been hit many times by debris. This is part of our existence. The concern we have for this debris field is that it will become ever increasingly happening to us. And those of us that have life are quite rightly concerned for that life. I know we are going towards it, but if we avoid the debris field, are we going to avoid the, the road to get to the wormhole? Of course, towards the galactic center is set. It will be reached. We may, during our long journey, we may collect more planets. We may lose some planets. This does happen. The debris field is in an area of space close by where we wish to go. That debris field is being pulled towards the galactic center. We wish to obviously arrive before it does finish. Oh, so the debris field is being is going towards the warm O2. So is the galaxy collapsing on its own? The galaxy is stable. We are traveling across the galaxy. This is very unique. We have a special what you would call mission. We have to ensure the survival of life, a universe with planets, moons, without life would be a sad place. Yes. I comprehend that, but I also comprehend that the size of the universe is way bigger, way over my comprehension too. I don't believe that our solar system is the only planet in the universe that has life. This is not what I'm saying. I am saying any life that is lost would make a difference to the overall existence of life in the universe. Okay. So, since last time we talked, what are the changes we can observe in the physical aspect of you? Most of the planets are changing their angle. Some are changing their rotation. Some are creating rings. Some are losing rings. This may seem unusual to us. It is just part of our existence. These things happen. It is not unusual. We adjust. You, as humans who have a considerably shorter lifespan, 
unless you think in the short term, where you think in terms of eons, as you said earlier, time does not really exist for us. Finish. Are you creating rings? Have you changed your rotation? Have you changed your axis? My angle has changed. My rotation has changed. I have not yet started to create any wings. It is not beyond possibility. This will not happen anytime soon. Yes. When a planet creates rings, what is the purpose of, of creating rings when we think that Saturn's ring were to uh, manipulate us, human? Saturn's rings have been used to manipulate humans. They were not created to manipulate humans. It's the intention behind them that is different. So what's the purpose of ring when the planet has ring? It is just the collection of tiny what you would call objects being kept in an orbit around the planet. It really is just a spectacle to look at. It doesn't affect ourselves. We are not a danger to us. In effect, we find them quite beautiful and they have a frequency of their own. They truly are beautiful creations. So if they have a frequency on their own, that means you can talk to any ring of any planet. They are very solitary. You can try some to talk to you the whole. Hmm. Well, it was a pleasure, Pluto, talking with you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Hope to speak soon. Uh, a lot of people hope that too. <laughs> Thank you. Talk to you soon. So we're back. Just want to remind you people that I live in a loft and I have neighbor and on top of me there is kid living there. So if you hear bang, 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 that's the, the toddler running all over the place and there's just nothing we can do and we can't wait at night to record. It's very echoey over here and I have to live with it, so so do you. You okay with that, Patrick? Absolutely, not a problem. Okay. So, now that we have played Pluto, what's the first thing that comes into your mind you want to say? Pluto likes to talk. We mentioned that before. He does like to talk, right? Um, there's stuff we're going to discuss. I don't know if people noticed it as we went through, but we'll point it out to them. And uh, it's very, very interesting. Is his answer, just his answer, take the whole page? Yeah. They are long answer. Yeah. And... Something else that we were reminded once again is that uh, planets aren't planets, they are their frequency, right? Yeah, he told us that, yeah. He doesn't consider himself to be Pluto, so it doesn't matter whether he's a planet or not, he's his frequency. And then he said something about the wormhole. <sighs> he did, you'll have to remind me. <laughs> So the wormhole is not a wormhole. The wormhole is not a wormhole. Absolutely. That was a big game changer, wasn't it? Absolutely. So we are heading towards the center of the galaxy. We were told before that it was a wormhole, but now we know it's not a wormhole. I believe if you go back and listen to when the phrase wormhole was first mentioned, it said words to the effect 
it is similar to what you would call a wormhole. Yeah. It doesn't, we're not, we were not actually told it was a wormhole. Right. Okay. It's similar. That's right. I remember now. Right. And you found something in the news the other day. Yeah, I just caught a, 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 I look at the BBC News website and there was a short, very short article tucked away in the corner. They are pointing all their cameras and listening devices to the center of the galaxy. Something is happening at the center of the galaxy and they are interested in it. I wonder, even Jacob Israel on YouTube was, was saying about the news that now they're having a radio signal non-stop. From the center of the galaxy, yeah. And That's where it come from. Yeah, and it's in such a pattern that it can't be random. Only intelligent life could have put it there. So that's why everything's zooming in on the center of the galaxy. So it's a message telling us, come on, come on. Yeah, <laughs> this way. Yeah. Plus, <laughs> also, um, the debris field is being attracted to that, too, is being pulled. Yes, but there was some positive news about the debris field. He said we could possibly avoid it. Yes. And then you had the, when we did the recording of that, you had that vision at the same time you told me about after. Right. I, I, I don't usually get vis, visual things. I just get, I suppose the common phrase is download, but I don't get it as a download. I just know. And I saw the solar system with the sun at its center with all the planets and moon circling the sun as it was traveling towards the galactic center. So yeah. let's say that each tip of my finger is the planet and the sun is mm -hmm. in the middle. So yeah. the whole solar system is doing a spiral the sun, as they move. Yeah, P plus the planet circling the sun. So it's, you know. Right. Wow. It's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. During our trip to, towards the center of the galaxy, we were told that we could gain or lose planet. Yeah, I know we've been told before that we could gain and lose planets, but this is, you know, we could lose them as we're traveling to the galactic center. And this could be why in my opinion, the outer planets are more concerned because in my opinion, they're more likely to be the ones to go spinning off somewhere or yeah. be attracted to a bigger object, right. you know. And um, we've been told that Earth is safe, right? Yeah. The Earth is going to remain with the solar system and the sun and we are going to reach the center of the galaxy but in the meantime those things takes a lot of time we that's probably for a generation to come right yeah i don't think it'll be in our lifetime no. and something something else that we were told also is that our galaxy is stable this is important to know because you know we know now that our galaxy is colliding with another galaxy, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's disruptive. I mean, I mean, it, it's a, it's a joining thing, they call it, right? Yes, the phrase was, it's a joining. It's not a collision right. or a colliding. It is a joining. So you're joining. You're not... No, because uh, there is space in between all the planets and stuff, so we are joining. That's probably why we are gaining or losing planet and asteroid and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are all changing because when I asked Pluto, the whole solar system is changing. 
-huh. All the planet has some sort of a change. And uh, Earth is changing too. The frequency is changing. It, it, the Earth has tilted. <laughs> and um, you know, it just, just keep on going. It's, it, it's, it's all changes. That's all it is. And the galaxy is stable. That's what you have to keep in mind. The galaxy is stable. One more thing that was very important that Pluto told us is about any lost life. Yeah. Change. Any, should any life be lost that changes or has an effect upon the universe? The life outcome. is precious. Mm. You know, and um, we have to value life. Right. Now, something that was huge too. We found out that we can talk to rings of planet, right? Right. Like they have their own frequency. They have their own frequency. Yeah. And when we were told that, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> so I was very intrigued. And uh, I told Patrick, I wonder if we should talk to Saturn's ring. He's then what did you say? You may, we may try. I'm like, hold on a minute. We need to ask Source if we should talk to those rings. Mm -hmm. Because of what they're doing. So or what they're being used for. We did ask to our pendulum. We both had our pendulum at the same time and we had a big no. We did ask again to my pendulum. We had no again. And we asked the rod, and we had a no again. So, at this point, people, I would say, it doesn't matter if you protect yourself, but we've been warned not to talk to the ring of Saturn. And it's probably because now we know that the ring are being used to manipulate us. I mean, I don't know. Once you know that, you want do you want to take the risk to talk to the ring? <laughs> you know? Absolutely. You know, that they're, they're being used with ill intent and uh, who knows what would happen if we were to connect with them, you know? That's right. Um, there are other rings within the solar system. We might talk to them. Who knows? That's right. Plus, we have some planets that are actually building ring right now. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watch this space. Pardon the pun. Now the fun part. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? <laughs> no, no. EVP. So we were surprised about the amount of EVP we got with Pluto. It was just insane. And if you have the here to hear, I'm sure you guys are going to find more EVP that we didn't extract. But we did extract two. So the first one is very the one that did surprise us the most. And it says we are all. Just before I start the answer with Pluto speaking, the first three words Pluto says is we are all. Just before that, there was an EVP very clearly says we are all just before I say it. And but, then you start your answer and you say we are all. And then what's next? Well, we discovered that there was whispering of EVPs as I was speaking at the same time, saying the same words, the whole complete answer to that question which is a long answer it's a every sentence word, every word is there yeah so if, you have, if you if you've trained your ear to listen to the evps there's a whisper behind my voice right sometimes it's a little bit ahead sometimes it's a little bit behind but it is there and it's either the where i'm getting the information from or it's Pluto speaking. Well, uh, we were wondering, you were wondering where it was coming from. 
I yeah. often said that, yeah. I've often said to Caroline, I wonder where it comes from. I get it. And I, I, it's a knowing. I don't hear one word at a time. I don't see pictures usually. I just get the knowledge of it. And But you can hear it. And it's a quite big dis it's a quite a distinct voice the the we are all the sound of it it's like some tick 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 right and i remember that movie with mel gibson sign right those, those uh, alien that came on earth to invade us their speech sound just like that so we were told to, we were programmed with that movie to fear that noise. Mm -hmm. That it would be from an alien trying to invade us, right? The impression I got of the ticking and the speed of which the voice was is, I already know that the planets have to for want of a better phrase, dumb themselves down in order to communicate with me. I believe that this <clears throat> voice is also slowing down, but because it's faster than what we're used to, you get the click, 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 click. Right. So yeah. we have uh, extracted this part. And if you listen carefully before Patrick talk, we hear we are all. And then Patrick talk and he says, we are all part of um, the, universe. the universe. Till the end, from uh, the word part till universe finish, it's a whispering on top of the voice of Patrick that you can hear saying everything. And if you listen carefully when I do talk, not in this recording, but if you listen again to Patrick, to Pluto, when I do talk and ask the question, we don't hear any EVP. We only, yeah, we only hear those EVP on your voice. So uh -huh. let's listen to it three times, three times. <laughs> we are all part of the whole you call the universe. Mm. We are all part of the whole you call the universe. Mm. We are all part of the whole you call the universe. Mm. Isn't it amazing? It blew us away, didn't it? We were blown away and you really? had the tears. Yeah, yeah. You had a it, tear. <clears throat> it's choking me up a little bit now. I've always wanted validation that what I do is real. And this gives us that validation because you hear it before I say it. You hear it as I am saying it, word for word. Right. Right. And that, that really was a big moment for us. We were busy transcribing the question and answer session the conversation and when we got to that point it blew us away we had to stop we couldn't Whoa. continue <laughs> you know and you know it's like there is so many evp is like we have to pick and choose at some point because the the show is it, not only it, about evp it would turn into an EVP show if we were to extract every single EVP. Oh, it was insane. But this yeah. one was the first one that struck us. Yes, and it's so important because of it. It starts, we are all, before I say we are all, and then it continues saying what I am saying. Right. right. You know, it's, it's just a mind blowing. Absolutely. And then later on, as we are working on editing this presentation for you guys, when Pluto give one answer that we have extracted, the whole answer is filled with EVP. It's just nonstop. 
It was so much that we have decided to highlight in blue the whispering uh, at the same time than Patrick. That you can hear quite easily without manipulating the audio, right? You can hear the whispering on top of Patrick. Plus, we found few EVP. We're going to play it, and after that, we have a little debate. Okay? <laughs> Let's play it. It is outside of the solar system. As I said before, it's not approaching us. We are approaching this. It is possible due to other forces within the galaxy that we avoid it completely the debris thing that I'm talking about. But it is also possible that we go right through the worst of it. This is why it is a concern because this is unknown. We meaning us as a group of planets and our moons have been hit many times by debris. This is part of our existence. The concern we have for this debris field is that it will become ever increasingly happening to us and those of us that have life are quite rightly concerned for that life. Okay. So, Patrick, what do you want to say about that? Again, we were blown away because doing the extraction and taking out the gaps and increasing the volume in certain places, yes. we have and listened fine. to that conversation so many times, yet we didn't hear them EVPs until we did the recording for the show. That's right. You know, so they've been added since we prepared it. That's right. Um, again, it's validation. Validation. So it goes like that. Pluto's answer says, it is outside of the solar system as we said before. So the word solar system is uh, colored in blue because we can clearly hear the whisper uh, with Patrick. Saying the same. Yeah. It's not approaching it. We are approaching it. And the word it is in blue too because we can hear the uh, whisper. Then we have a EVP in between <laughs> two words and that's our little debate. Uh, no, the, 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 well, that's quite clear for us. The debate is a little later. But that, that one got us laughing a lot. So <clears throat> it says, where it is possible, then we hear, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys agree with us that this is fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then due to other forces in the galaxy that we avoid it completely. Now the word completely, it's pretty obvious that there's a whisper there. The debris field I'm talking about. It is also possible that we go right through the worst of it. Now the worst of it, the whisper is just freaking loud, right? I mean... Absolutely. Very I loud. You can't manipulate the whisper behind my voice because you don't manipulate my voice at the same time. Oh. So it is, it is as it was recorded. It is not doctored in any way, shape or form. No, I can't, I can't do that sort of editing. I'm not, I just have a free film thing. So I, I, I can't do that type of editing. And if, if I, I wouldn't know what to do. Then it goes, this is why it is a concern. And here comes our little debate. <laughs> because we have in green a clear EVP. For me, I hear some things and Patrick hears something else. So this is why it is a concern. 
This we would, is shake and th this is unknown. And between the word is and unknown, I hear shitty and Patrick hear shaky. shaky. <laughs> What do you think, people? What do you guys think? Let us know in the chat room or in the comment below, okay? Shitty or shaky. But I believe it's shitty because right after, we can clearly hear an EVP saying, we, they won't say that. They won't say that, yeah. I promise I didn't fart. <laughs> Perhaps it's a shaky, shitty Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, it, it, yeah, well, maybe it's both. But, you know, for me, I mean, shaky is very, we can say that. Shitty, if we want to be polite, we won't say that. Right. And they know it because they say, they won't say that. And it's clear. <laughs> I mean, it's very clear. Absolutely very clear that they won't say that and after that you know this all answer really is um you got whispering on your voice the whole time from a to z yeah but there is some sport spot that we have highlighted in blue that it's very predominant mm -hmm. and well there is the words debris fill is that and then the word happening but the, the 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 one that struck us the most at the same time was uh it's also possible that we go right through the worst of it the worst of it that was the most predominant of the whole center the whole answer as for the whispering yeah right absolutely so this is our <laughs> our work on pluto people it was a lot of work and on top of working on the transcript and making it with mixing it with the audio so you guys can have more facility to Instead of working with two documents, you have all in one. It's like shampoo, two in one, right? <laughs> right. And um, we had the additional work of the EVPs, which we were not expecting. But that, yeah. and that's a lot of work because we extract it and we amplify <laughs> and, you know, just so you guys uh, can uh, hear it clearly but we are going to upload after this premiere the AVP on its own okay just for you guys so yeah so you'll be able to listen to it and decipher it yourself and give your opinions and if as you're listening to the conversation if you hear other EVPs that we haven't highlighted Maybe we've missed them. Maybe we decided not to use them. Put them in the comments. Let's have an open conversation. That's right. That's, That's right. what we want, a conversation. And there is nothing like this anywhere else. No. So I hope you guys like it. And next uh, release will be Neptune, right? Neptune. Very interesting conversation. Neptune is not ready yet, but now that Pluto is out, we're working on Neptune. And when it's going to be ready, we're going to release. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really loved and enjoyed doing this. It was a lot of work, but it was work to do. Absolutely. Thank you for all your help, Carolyn. I really do appreciate it. Well, I could not do, that, do it without you. <laughs> I mean, you're the main tool. <laughs> You're the one having the conversation. I'm not, <laughs> you know, right? Yeah, we're doing it together, aren't we a team? Yeah, we're, we're a good team. All right. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. Please put comments down below what you think. Um, tell right. us what you think. Yeah, and tell us what you think about the new format. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, YouTube.
Love you all. Bye.